turn that around. I don't know if you guys can see me. Anyway, what's up, guys? Mike owns pressure washing. Um, I'm going to show you why I like these uh, surface cleaners. It's a 19-inch Whisper Wash Classic. And if you guys are new and want to get a, a, a good surface cleaner, I think this is the way to go. It's what I did. And when you you got to make sure you get the four-tip bar. Well, I guess you don't need to get the four-tip bar, but I did, and I'll explain what I did. So, <clears throat> you can put four tips in. Like, these are 25025s, okay? I use this for my eight-gallon per minute, my eight-and-a-half-gallon per minute. I'm actually going to be upgrading these to eight, uh, what are they? 2503s so that means that's 12 gallons per minute total and I go with a bigger flow just because my machine my eight and a half kind of uh, with a bucket test it goes about uh, close to 10 gallons per minute but anyway I'm putting 2503s because I want to I want more flow I don't need as much pressure so my pressure will probably be around 2000 psi out of each nozzle which is okay with me so anyway, I'm going to show you how to change the tips, and I'm also going to explain why I like the uh, the tips that you know the four the four tip um, whisper wash glasses because when you get a when you get um, when you start out and you say say you have a four gallon per minute machine, which I think is pretty much the the uh, minimum. Uh, and you get a classic 19 inch you can actually clean with that that's what I did so I had a four gallon per minute machine when I started and I'll show you what I have I'll show you what I had in there for tips so hold on one second okay so I had a four gallon per minute machine and I, it actually came, when I ordered a 19 inch whisper wash, it came with four, I don't know if you can see the number, but it's tough, it's through a bag. But anyway, take my word for it, those are 2502s, okay? So, when I got the four tip bar, it came with four. 2502 tips all right so <clears throat> what I did was let's just say these are all 2502s since I have four gallons per minute and four 2502s equal to eight gallons per minute that is going to be too much flow so what I did was I ordered these caps or plugs and what I did was I took the inside tips out and put these plugs in so now I had 2502 on this end and 12502 on this end with plugs in these two slots and what that does is that gives you the proper flow for a four gallon per minute machine now if you that's that's ideal you have to kind of move a little slow with this 19 inch but it still gets the job done pretty good I mean I'm not talking real slow either it gets the job done Anyone that's ever used two 2502 tips in a 19 inch surface cleaner will tell you it's really not that bad. It does a good job. But if you have the intention on upgrading, then all you got to do is remove the uh, plugs and put, you know, four 2502s or 25025s or 2503s, which I'm moving up to. <clears throat> and you got and then you're upgraded so basically instead of getting the 16 inch uh whisper wash for your four gallon per minute when you upgrade to an eight you'll have a compatible machine for your eight and your four so i'm going to change these tips right now and i'll walk you through it all right so what i did was i got a 15 15 millimeter socket and I loosened all these bad boys up, all right? Loosened all these up. Now, <clears throat> when you pull them out, just check them out, checking the holes. 
I recommend uh, leaving the, uh, if you have your water hooked up to it, you know, maybe uh, squirt some water without the tips through these holes. So it clears all these lines out. Because uh, you're going to have some shit in there. I don't know if you can see it. But anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave these holes open. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate how they, you know, how they uh, go back in. So I got my uh, new bag 2503s right here. I'll get those put in. What's the... Uh, yeah, I'll take your number. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I got these uh, holes all cleared out, the line all cleared out, so everything should be clear. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some Teflon on these and show you how that's done. Let me see if I can somehow put this. Hold on, let me flip this around. All right, so I'll show you how it's done. You get your Teflon, and you want to see which way it's spinning. So if it's screwing, see if it's screwing this way, you want the Teflon to be going with the threads. So let me redo it so I can show you. I don't know if that got on the camera. It's a little tough. All right, so. You want this to go with the thread, so you put this piece like so, and you wrap with the threads. And you just put, I don't know, two, three wraps, but you don't want to go too close to the ends. Let me show you what I mean. You want to get like only that close, all right? And then you bring the wraps back towards the top so you don't get nothing stuck in the holes, all right? And then the last pull it tight and then I just take my fingers and kind of make sure the overlap don't come undone and that's it all right so then you take your wrap Teflon and you just go ahead and you start putting it in like so Make sure you got to make sure you're right in the right uh, threads because it will fuck your shit up if you don't get in the right threads. Make sure you got a nice, yeah, I'm having a hard time doing this with the camera. There you go. And what you want to do is you want to make sure <coughs> the line is going parallel with the bar. So see that line's going parallel with the bar? That's how you want to do it. All four tips must be lined up the same way and then you're good to go. All right, guys, take care. Oh yeah, so guys, I wanna show you one more tip, all right? So this piece right here is what comes stock on the uh, Whisper Wash, all right? It's stainless steel. And what it does is this part threads into the uh, bar and then the female threads onto the swivel coming through so it can spin around right so what people what I've learned to do was instead of this steel put this brass fitting on 
like a brass piece like this they're like two or three bucks you can get from Lori Smith or Russ Johnson but what the idea behind it is instead of the stainless you use the brass so if you are spinning this and you buck something a curb before the bar breaks or anything this brass piece will break so your bar can get saved or salvaged and what happened what was happening is with these metal pieces um, this wouldn't break as easy so the bar would break but I guess whisper wash can't warranty or they can't something you know they can't sell it with this because you know it'd be too dangerous I guess you know it doesn't stand up to the test but if you do hit something and you put this brass piece on the brass will snap before anything next time it happens I'll show you a picture and what happens is this piece gets stuck in the bar and this piece uh, just snaps right in half then you got an easy out I'll make another video next time it happens but anyway that's another tip or trick that I learned along the way but all right guys that's pretty much what I'm gonna do I'm gonna you know before I put these four tips in all the way I'm going to clean it out really well with the with the pressure washer on let it rinse all the debris out but um because I had a little issue I want to see if it fixes it but um this is definitely I think the best starting um, surface cleaner to get when you have a four gallon per minute you put plugs in these two they sell a two tip bar anyway but I like the idea of the four tip bar so I bought it when I had a four gallon per minute plug the two inside holes and put 2502 in this one and 2502 in this one and then when I upgrade it to my 8.5 I'm able to use the four tips as my you know whatever ones I decide Right now I'm going to be doing 2503s, but definitely think the Whisper Wash Classic is the way to go when you're starting out. All right. All right. Take care, guys.